Hey folks, uh, today we're going to have a quick look at one of the features of 56, which is being able to adjust the crop window from the 2D view whilst you're looking at uh, an in-progress render. So the first thing you'll see is the crop window tool now shows up uh, on the left here in the toolbar. It's the only tool at the moment, there will be more, so that's why we, we put it here, though it looks a little bit odd. Uh, turning this on, you'll see the familiar red overlay that you will be used to from the 3D view in previous versions of Gaffer. Uh, and you can see we've improved the status presentation, so now it tells you as a direct overlay here which uh, standard options node you're editing. So let's say we want to focus in on the head region here. Uh, the first new feature is if you hold down shift, uh, you can now drag a new crop region from anywhere within the view. You don't have to go and grab the edges uh, to move it around. You can still do that if you want to resize the window once you have one. Uh, you can also click inside the region and just move it around like so to save you having to grab all the edges individually. And again, dragging outside of the box, you don't need shift for that, will let you create a new window at any point. So it's very quickly to either shift click inside and drag or just drag outside and create some new windows and then move them around uh, using their tools inside. Hopefully this is gonna be some help in uh, saving you have to have those little tiny 3D views open in the corner just to adjust your crop. Sometimes you may find that the tool doesn't work or it doesn't appear and you get an error like this at the bottom. Uh, the, the reason for this is we squirrel away inside the image headers the, the name of the node that the render was started from. So if you've changed your graph, you've added or removed nodes, you may find that Gaffer can't get back to the 3D scene that a particular render came from. So in this case you can see uh, we've renamed the render node it's no longer available. So if you get a message like this, that's probably the reason why.